Okay, so we're going to look at what causes slew rate. All right, so let's look at our operational amplifier with the two-stage operational amplifier with the current mirror load on the first stage and the common source for the second stage. All right, let's say that the current that we have flowing through transistor M5 here is equal to 2i, the sum value magnitude 2i. It's of course connected to a bias voltage. Here we have our input of the amplifier is differential. Now I'm just going to represent the second stage as a, a basic gain stage. So this is just a gain stage that has a value, a gain of A, and the gain that it has is equal to GM7 times R07 in parallel with R06, as we found before. And we put a capacitor from the output to the input, our compensation capacitor, which is CC. Okay, let's further suppose that we try and turn transistor M1 on. So let's say that we put a very positive voltage on the gate of M1 and we ground the gate of M2. That's going to cause all of the current to flow through M1 and M2 will be off, so zero current will flow through M2. Now all of the current that flows through M1 is mirrored by transistor M3 and flows towards the output. And ultimately this current has to flow through this capacitor. <clears throat> so if we look at our output voltage, we have V out is equal to 1 over CC times the integral of the current flowing through the capacitor. And we get this expression by noting that, you know, the current is equal to C dV dt. We can derive this expression. So if we take the derivative of both sides, we could write that d V out by dVt, or by, sorry, by dt is equal to 2i divided by cc. So this is equal to our slew rate. Now in a two-stage amplifier, slew rate is determined by the, the, by the bias current that we have flowing through M5 and the capacitance and nothing else. So what we're going to find here ultimately is that we choose CC for stability. And we'll look at stability in the next lecture. And so what we can say is for a given or a chosen slew rate, or for a given compensation capacitance and a chosen slew rate, we can choose our tail current.
So again, we'll look at stability in the next lecture. This is what's going to dictate how we choose this value of CC. But if we know what the value of CC is and we know what the value of slew rate we desire, we know what our tail current is. So we'll stop there.